In today's video, I'm going to show you this really quick and really easy method on how to fake HDR video. Hey what's up, it's Chris from Rucker Films and yes in today's video we're talking all about HDR videography. Now HDR stands for High Dynamic Range and this is basically the process where your video is going to expose the highlights, the midtones and the shadows perfectly and then combine all three of those to create an amazing video. Now there are HDR video cameras on the market but they can be extremely expensive which means they may not be accessible to most filmmakers. So if we're on a budget and we only have a small camera, how can we fake this effect? This technique works by stitching three different shots together. So this means that you have to mount your camera to your tripod unfortunately. Now when you arrive on location you want to mount your camera to your tripod and you want to perfectly expose the highlights. Now leave the shot rolling for around 10 seconds and then you want to pull up your exposure and expose the midtones. And now once you've captured that you want to pull up your exposure again and you want to expose for the shadows. And now once you've captured all three of those shots you're now clear to get these onto the computer to create one amazing HDR video. So once you have loaded up Adobe After Effects you want to begin by creating a new composition. So once you've done that you want to go and import your footage. So import file and then this is your video and we're just going to create a brand new composition from the video. Now as you can see I'm just breaking this video down into the three different clips. So I've got the highlights, the midtones and the shadows. So if I just solo those, you can see the highlights, the midtones, and the shadows there. But we're just going to flip them back around. We're just going to flip them around. And we're going to draw a mask around the highlights. So this is the window. So just take your time with this. Make sure that you do a good job of this. And then there you go. You can see that I have exposed the windows perfectly. So if I hide that layer, you can see that I am now revealing the layer underneath, which means that the outside is properly exposed. So we're going to move down to our second video layer and we're going to do the same thing again. We're just making sure we're getting the midtones here. And there you go, by cropping around the midtones it means that the shadows have now been perfectly exposed. However, you can see the lines between these masks. So we need to go into each individual mask and we need to create some feathering. So we'll go into mask and we just pull up the feather. And we can go crazy on this, we can go up to around 100, 200. Just do whatever you think looks good here. And then we do the same thing again on the second mask, we'll pull that up to a crazy high number. So we're on 300-ish, 276. And essentially that is the effect now complete. So if we expose for the inside of this room, then you can see that the highlights outside are gonna be completely overexposed. So by using this fake HDR effect, we're perfectly exposing the highlights, the midtones, and the shadows, meaning the interior and the exterior are correctly exposed. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell icon, and I will see you next time for the next video. Thank you for watching.